Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. In my previous video, I showed you how to shoot a time lapse with the built in time lapse feature of the Panasonic G85. If you missed that video or if you're interested in checking it out, you can click the video card on the top right hand corner of the screen. But today, I want to show you how to take all of those clips that you got and assemble them into a time lapse in Final Cut Pro X. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of doing it, and it should take you no longer than 5 minutes. So the first thing you need to do is start a new project in Final Cut Pro X. So go to File, Project. For simplicity, I'm just going to call it Time Lapse. And I want to export it in 4K at 24 frames per second. Now I'm going to import all of my clips. I'm going to select all of them, click hold and drag them in to the project timeline. So you can see each clip is about 4 seconds at the moment, and that's way too slow because if we play the movie out, it's going to move at a really slow snail's pace like this. So we definitely need to change to that. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to select all of my clips, and I'm going to right click on one of them and select change duration. And now I'm just going to type in 1 and hit enter. This is going to dramatically reduce the length of my time lapse and now it's brought down to about 15 seconds. Now if I further want to adjust the speed of this time lapse, either slow it down a little bit or make it faster. To do this real easily, I want to make a compound clip. So again, I'm going to select all of my clips. I'm going to go to File, New, and then all the way down to Compound Clip, and then hit OK. And now it's going to give me this one nice clip, and I can easily adjust the speed of this one clip. And now to do that, I'm going to hit Command R to bring up the retiming tool. And if I slide this clip to the left, it's going to make this time lapse play faster because now I have a shorter clip. And if I slide this clip to the right, it's going to drag out this clip and make this time lapse play slower. So that's an easy way of adjusting the speed of my time lapse. Now as far as assembling your time lapse, that's pretty much it. It's up to you to adjust how fast you want your time lapse to play. Let's say you know you just want a 5 second time lapse, then you're just going to slide this clip all the way down to 5 seconds. Now one last thing I like to do is I like to quickly adjust the, uh, the colors of the time lapse. And I'm just going to throw on the color correction, adjust the exposure, and adjust the colors to my liking. And now let's see what I got. I think it looks great, and in general I like to make my time lapses faster just because it makes it more dramatic. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And in my next video, um, I'm going to be making a video comparison between the Panasonic G7 and the Panasonic G85. So stay tuned for that, and I hope to have it up next week.